Come on. I've never seen a girl with a sparkly bum before. And as I got closer, I realized that she had sewn sequins, or little rhinestones, into the pockets of her jeans. So when she shifted her weight from one foot to the other, you know. <laughs> that was a unique <laughs> That's so oh. romantic. <laughs> so anyway, so that's why that page looks so bad. And when um, I was terrified of speaking to her, and my opening line was great. Try this, you guys, sometime. It works every time. I said, okay. excuse me, is this John Jansko's history of art class? <laughs> Good and, line. Unfortunately, she didn't say, beat it, creep. I'm going to try, try that in the club next time. Yeah. yeah. Try to go for Excuse that. me, is this history of art class? It's part of this nature's Why way do you need to try that in the club? Yeah, <laughs> Graham. What do you do? You, what, you think it's going to work? No. <laughs> it clearly it worked did. for me. Context. That was, that was like almost 40 years ago. Anyway, so, so um, what, Joan, Joan, what did you notice about me? I noticed you were sparkly, Bob. What did you notice about me? <laughs> for those who didn't hear you that, it was. Racist. For those who didn't hear that, it was your unnaturally straight teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Um, so, this is the story of a, a, a part of Joan's life. Yes, yes. Aurora Borealis. Well, this is the, the first, the first quarter. The, the first quarter. Joan is doing four and books. Also, like, the seventies, kind of what was going on, a little bit of punk. It's got lots of Marshall McLuhan in it too. <laughs> All right, yeah, because. Uh, your name is what now? Middle name is Marshall. Right. Named after. Named after Marshall. 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 So, this is the graphic novel, and uh, signed, and a uh, print number forty-one of fifty. Signed. Signed. And uh, a, an an original page from the novel featuring Ken dressed like a vampire. Uh, Sorry, dress, dressed like the vampire he that truly, he really that, is. That, that he truly is. Yes. It is true form. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. All right. Okay. So you know, you know came out this is uh, 165. Yeah. Is BB ready? BB lives. The bidding shall begin. Six hundred dollars from Ninja Sock Monkey. <laughs> There's wow. a whole bunch of bids that just don't even count. Wow. Six hundred dollars. <laughs> Crack. Six fifty from Hondor 64. Oh, we should also let you know that. Um, oh, number... Ice Pick, you're trying to bid. You're not voiced. Ice Pick, you need voice. <laughs> a number of people, a uh, number of publishers are looking at the book right now. We hope uh, that we'll have an announcement um, in the not too distant future. Awesome. Otherwise, you can actually see the book online on Jones uh, Blogspot. So JonesStacy.blogspot.com, and that's J O A N S seven hundred A C Y dot blogspot.com. You're, you, you had you had sea of teeth yep. straight. Oh yes, and, and uh, 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 Legends Comics here in Victoria has copies as well. What did I say earlier? Seven hundred from Mr. Gloomby. Ice pick at seven ten, and then Fumwit at eight hundred. Eight hundred dollars. <laughs> We're okay. Nice Everything, everything's fine. <laughs> everything is fine. Everything's fine. Nothing is broken. It. I was so excited there. 805 from Jack and Nuri. Okay. Ice pick at 810. Hey, Ice pick. He's picking away at your wallets. He is. <laughs> I get it. You're, you're, it's on backwards. Ah, it's not bad. Which at 850. Point right <laughs> My point is just fine where it is. Thank you very much. <laughs> Attention, <laughs> people with me? weird names, please bid here and Graham pronounce them as Austin. <laughs> <laughs> I want more cake. Oh, what's that over there? That's uh, Morgan's plum plum <laughs> plum cake. Like plum torch. Oh, I want crunky cakes. Yum. I think it's just regular crunky. Oh, is it? Well, it's not a, it hasn't opened yet. All right. Is there more cake? I think Ice Pick is yes, the leader. Yeah, yeah, please. So we're gonna. I haven't seen him bid, so we're gonna call going once. Oh, sorry, pardon me. Fumut. Fumut. Ice Pick is now the leader at 8.55. I was right about 10 seconds ahead of myself. Are you a time traveler? I am. I am a time traveler. Yeah, you weren't wrong. I'm gonna read some of the quotes in the back. Exactly. This is. Um, this is a book that, that um, 
Douglas Copeland said, quote, John Stacey offers yes. an interesting new door into a moment in cultural history now for reevaluation. A gentle and thoughtful look at the recent past that feels far away at the same time. And uh, Jeff Lemire, oh. who did Essex County and Sweet <laughs> Did not know those were there. John Stacey's Aurora Borealis is a whimsical, heartfelt, and insightful look at the burgeoning Toronto art scene in the 70s. An actual and, storyteller. And it's going once. Oh, her vivid characters come to life with beautiful cartooning. Oh. I like Jordan, run away. It does sound like an explosion. Apparently just knocked down a poster. 855 to Ice Pick. Going once. <laughs> all right. Oh, you've got the hammer. Oh, yeah. We, got, we, are, we are all kinds of gavel. Bang, bang, bang. Well, Bill, bang. This is probably going to go for a Oh, yum, thank you. Wow. We're gonna say. The cake just keeps on coming. We're gonna say going twice to Ice Pick for 855. Snipers take the shot. <laughs> no, no. That's sad. I'm so excited, I almost can't stop eating. <laughs> yep, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people and a lot of excitement in the room. No snipers. Going out. once, going twice, Fumped is out. We are sold to Ice Woo! Pick for $855. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Joan. Yay, Joan. Can I sign it too? <laughs> no. It's not yours. Don't put a word below. <laughs> he can sign, I'm a vampire. You go look at Who likes cards? Woo! Wait, wait, wait. I like cards. Wait. Dostra, are you still in the house? Dostra in the house. Oh, I think you're, you're giving you an update. Is it warm where you are? Nah. Let's, let, let's find out if Dostra. Aurora Bore Awesome, Joan. That's the title of the next book. Aurora Bore Awesome. Nice. Oh, I like it. Dostra says yo. Yes, Dostra is there. Dostra says yo. Yes, yo. okay. Is are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Why did you ask if it's warm like where he is? A sweater? A yes. That's what they mean. Um, yeah. a, there should be a sweater actually. Uh, can we click okay. on the link for the slash pick? Uh, what? That green one. Here's the rough. Left, left, left. Sorry. Here it is we'll sketched out. You're going to need to oh, make We'll have to put on the. Oh, wow. On the dock cam. Okay, so now. No. no. This is a rough. <laughs> the Kelly's <laughs> The, the, so the I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about the second. scene in in Empire Strikes Back. <coughs> I can't really get the orbit on there right now. So there's Yoda. Honor says, "Ice pick, I need you to win the next three auctions for more than a thousand dollars each, so I have a chance to win one later." <laughs> <laughs> it's important to know that Ken just like you've all been watching. Ken did this just now. <laughs> in within Probably four auctions. So Yoda yeah, is using the force to make that mm -hmm. that that Darth Vader helmet to sort of float. Ethereally through the air. Try the bus cam or try it skull cam yeah. with its light. Someone goes, wait, it's not like done. Can't fit all of it on there. <laughs> so you can see the whole thing there. Here, you can see some of the top detail. Mikey Faye says, is that from Star Wars Episode <laughs> Two? <laughs> yes. uh, it's not from anything specifically. This is from Ken's mind. Star Wars Episode Fourteen. <laughs> this is what we call a sketch, boys and girls. Okay, so I want to, I want to. Okay, so Dostro, I need, I need your, uh, I need your approval to go ahead with this. <laughs> That's the rough layout. Thank you. Now I've, I've decided I'm going to color this with cake. <laughs> Yum. It'll be a delicious a smear frosting. The most delicious of all paints. I tip my hat back. Oh. He hates the entire episode. Ken! Ken's mind. We're waiting for a response from Dostro. Dostro is currently recovering from unconsciousness. Yeah. What, 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 where were we? There he is. Oh. Ken, like you need my approval, I, I bow in your presence. <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> and I bow back. Dostro, you're so cool. Thank you. All right. Good. Okay. Who likes cards? I like cards. Right. I'm Good. Put this, I can't afford these. Safe. Not with these people. Are these, is this the max? Hand it to the no, yeah, this one, yes. So, Robles, if you're still in the chat. Hold on, I need to say something. My dad's favorite cartoon of all time is the max, and I've only got one parent, so I love him twice as hard. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is a set, though. We're not doing each of these by themselves, so it could be tough. Hmm. This, is, this is the Ken Stacy trading card collection. Uh, yes, 168. Uh, there is 
Spawn on here. There's Marvel on here. There is the Max on here. There's Spawn on. I thought I wiped that off. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there's even there's even there's there's Mars attacks and there's even. No, no, I, I'm taking it with me. But we'll put it in the shipping office. No, no, I'll put, it, I'll put it in my bag. There's even uh, Ken Stacy's own card <laughs> from the uh, comic creators set. Let me do it. Just, just wait a minute. Let me finish my cake. What's the stats? Mm. Uh, writer, artist, painter, colorist, et letterer, and editor. Ken's, you name meti it, done. Yeah, Ken's meticulously airbrushed art has been applied to the serious and the comic. Uh, oh, wow. The serious and the chronic? Adaptations of Harlan Ellison SF stories for Epic were collected. Uh, Ken has also produced uh, Eclipse Magazine, Astro Boy, Tempest Fugitive, Marvel Fanfare. Johnny Quest, nearly 100 painted covers. Multi-talented Ken has been an editor for Vortex and writes in letters most of his own work. Awards in Eisner in 1988 and an ink pot in 1990. You have an Eisner? Yep. Uh, Eisner yes. Award winner what? Ken Stacy. I've been introducing you as Schuster Award winner and I could I'm have been both. introducing oh. you as Eisner and Schuster Award Eisner and Schuster and ink pot. Can somebody get on updating his, uh, his <laughs> wiki page? So, uh, Johnny, yep. uh, if you can um, uh, parse these all out. So, uh, I don't care. Mm -hmm. So Ken, let's go through these. Let's go through these. Uh, if you can explain uh, what these ones are. Okay, so this uh, spawn one that's foil. What's mm -hmm. this one? And then we'll we'll hand it off to Johnny, and he'll put it on skull Okay. So. Or actually, we'll hand it to Tally, who will then put my it. My pal Johnny, hey Kenny, he used to call me Ken, hey Kenny. Uh, called me out and said, "Hey, I'm starting a new comic company. I'm starting a new comic." Oh, Alex. I just don't want to be holding this. Just so you know. <laughs> Why not? Your I get very nervous, nervous when I hold oh, okay. the original. I just, had, I thought they were going to be like put aside somewhere. They are. They're, uh, in they're upstairs. Office. Oh, okay. But before they disappear, I know you want them. All right. Awesome. Um, I'll just keep like holding it like until you're ready. Okay. Dollars. It's going to be a little while, but all right. I don't want to eat it when I'm holding this card. Okay, so Todd calls up and says, hey, I love your paintings. I want you to do a painting. Okay. I want you to take my line art and do a painting. Out of it for the cover spot number one. So he sent me. Did the you guys catch that? Because he said it really quickly and sort of nonchalantly. <laughs> <laughs> In his cavalier kind of way. Spawn number one. Spawn number one. What? So what? Wait, Todd what? sent me. Yeah, did, you, did you not know that Ken did the cover for Spawn number one? Really? He Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, there's a famous comic book artist. Artist sitting right there! Whoa! Dude! Wow! I thought you were just Alex's dad. What are you it's eating, like, Matt? It's I'm so eating butter shiny. chicken. It's food. super shiny. Ooh, uh, All right. He's tormenting me. That's on the skull cam. Anyway, so. So, uh, Todd sent me a uh, PMT, which is a uh, permanent mechanical transfer or a very high quality photocopy of his line art, which I then transferred onto a board and then I painted it. So there was an original painting done on top of a photomechanical reproduction of Todd's liner. Todd penciled and inked that cover. I painted it. So, in case, guys, so, so Todd McFarlane penciled and inked it. Mm -hmm. And you did the painting. Yes, on top of it. Yeah. And this is a foil trading card of that cover. But it is only part Oh yes! Of this uh, of this trading card lot. Are you going to take everyone out? Well, I think you should at least just uh, here, we'll put them on the thing. Okay. okay, explain about the max. Okay, uh, the max was um, I can't remember. Um, <laughs> okay, well, Kathleen, tell us about the max. The You're max of the max. Well, <laughs> here, let me put this Sam Keith. Well, this is please explain what they all are. Sam Keith. Sam Keith. Um, back in the day, I did a lot of paintings, a lot of airbrushed uh, paintings, mm -hmm. and um, that was one that. Um, I must have bumped into Sam somewhere. He said, "Hey, do you want to do a painting of the Max?" And I said, "Sure." And then, I have those 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 little horrible guys stuck between his toes. And he said, "Sure." And then this is yours. And then that this is my uh, famous artist uh, trading card. See, I know I'm a famous artist. I'm a because famous you have a trading card that says you are. It's Whoa! I need to stop doing that. <laughs> you know why it's so slippery? Because you've got the Herculoids between your I legs. Know. Look at this. <laughs> why don't we take these and I'll just put these upstairs for you? Okay. Yeah. yeah there we go. Good. Okay. There's one more. Um, <laughs> Andre, there's one more. Same here. thing. I did this one for uh, my pal Mike Allred, which is a Madman trading here. card. Right. Oh. Um, the X Men was for a series of collectible watches. So you only got the X Men card if you bought one of these watches. Mm -hmm. uh, really? Mars Attacks. That was actually used for the promotional poster. Joan modeled for this. Where's Joan? Sorry, you Joan. could. Do you remember you modeling for for you know that? 
Yeah, for the alien? Oh. She doesn't want to remember. I don't blame her. So you can only get that, that X-Men card? No, from? she modeled for the, for the, the, the Earth so, woman who's about to be abducted. So you can only yes. get that X-Men card?